Next news is out of Ohio. Ohio Republicans file bill forcing doctors to reimplant ectopic pregnancies. Whew, what a doozy. So Ohio recently, for those of you who don't know, uh, is a state that passed a bill trying to ban all abortions after six weeks. And six weeks is typically when a woman finds out that she's pregnant. Um, obviously some before and obviously many way after. So it would, in essence, completely ban all abortion. Um, the bill passed and it was then, uh, it got nixed by the Supreme Court. Uh, so now they're trying to pass this new bill where they're asking doctors to go in. If anyone who doesn't know what an ectopic pregnancy is, it's when the egg implants itself in the, um, the tube, so you've got an ovary, right? And you've got the fallopian tube that leads to the uterus. So before the egg gets down into the uterus, it gets stuck in that fallopian tube and it implants there and it starts growing and it risks a woman's life, right? A woman could die from this. Um, so what the Republicans want done is when a woman is in this life or death critical situation, they want doctors to go in, take out this implanted uh, fetus and re-implant it into the uterus. This is 100% impossible. And all doctors have said this is science fiction. Uh, this cannot be done. Um, and, and what they're saying in this bill is that if doctors don't do this, they face, uh, what was the terminology they used? They face uh, abortion murder charges, in which, which will give them the death penalty. Ultimately. What? Are these serious bills or like the people know the bills that Republicans know that it's ridiculous? Adamant, their last bill passed. What? Uh huh. Like, okay, but they, their last bill banning abortion it passed, knowing uh, that it was against uh, the Constitution, knowing that they couldn't get away with it. It still passed. So, but this but, bill is likely to pass. Okay, but if it get, if it gets this constitution, then somebody is eventually going to challenge it, and it's going to get removed, right? But this is what they're wasting their time with, isn't that ridiculous? Yeah, I mean, okay, but the strategy. What is the strategy here? To know that you're going to pass a bill that eventually it's going to get removed, and waste a lot of taxpayer money and also a lot of time in in the in this while some b before somebody challenges it. A lot of women are not going to be able to have access to abortions or other difficulties that they have to fix it, deal with. But the goal is not to actually get something. The goal is to just get votes, right? Because the goal is to get the Christians to be like, yes, yeah, somebody is actually doing something. So even if it's unconstitutional and even if they fail, at least they're signaling to their base that look what we're doing. Keep voting for us, right? So it is strategic. Yeah. But yeah, I mean... A lot of these things that seem, again, seem very dumb, politically makes strategic sense for them to do that. But how can this be stopped? Like, this is insane. Like, how, like, this, if, what's the whole point of the Constitution if it, people could just make it so difficult to uphold it, right? Like, there needs to be well, a... Well, I think they ultimately want this to go to our, our absolute Supreme Court, not just the state Supreme Court, um, because they want, you know, to rehash Roe versus Wade. Um, B just saying doctors are replying to this with medical facts and GV is saying even if these bills don't pass they still push uh, the overturn window towards the anti-choice side yeah okay that's a good point as well um, let me see what the top comment is the top comment is by Andrea saying this is not how this works and the term potentially the term potentially fatal in regards to the can you read this Ali I don't know what these terms are these are ec ectopic pe pregnancies need to be changed to fatal um, if not removed who the hell are these um, what gargantuan d dog nuts I, th I think basically what she's trying to say is that this is a, an idiotic thing because you can't remove an ectopic pregnancy right. and reimplant it. Yeah, so this this is so there's everybody like Ellie, correct me if I'm wrong. So everybody, all the doctors and everybody saying this is stupid. You guys are being idiotic. This is so they're putting women at risk for the sake of a fetus, right? Um, yeah. 
which is so i mean this is and this is the influence of religion and politics right in the most absolutely and yeah. one doctor even specifically said what they're requesting is science fiction right okay science fiction it can't be done however if this bill were to pass right mm -hmm. and if it were to somehow go into effect which it won't mm -hmm. but let's pretend it did because a lot of doctors did put themselves in this situation what they would have to do is almost certainly kill a woman by opening up her fallopian tube ripping this thing out of it and trying to implant it into her stomach and all while doing this risking her life in the process mm -hmm to do something just so they don't go to jail for the rest of their lives or get the death penalty. So, wow. Or get the death penalty. Holy wow. Um, okay. Are you, is the death penalty thing a serious threat or that's not going to happen actually? Like, right? Like the death this isn't going to happen. I mean, obviously just like their last bill that they passed, this mm. isn't going to go into effect, but right. this is, this is what they're putting in it. Yeah. It's so it's so bizarre that in the most advanced country on the on this planet, the lawmakers are siding with fiction over science to pass laws. They're going and looking at ancient mythology based on books written by people that had no understanding of science or how the bodies work and how the universe works. You know, the goat herders guide to the galaxy. They're using those books over modern science to decide what's law and what, sh what how we should govern society and what should be allowed and what shouldn't be. And, it, and this is happening in the most advanced country on the, on the planet. So this is how far behind we are. <laughs> like, this is how much more stuff we need to do. Uh, this is crazy. Okay. Uh, I mean... Uh yeah. Tell me, tell me if I'm wrong, but uh, Ohio, it's a Mormon majority state, right? I don't. Is it? I thought that was Utah. Ali? Utah. Is it Ohio? Utah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي podcast باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.